Greetings, Kieslings. Kieslings Prime here with my live reaction of Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 267. Uh, let's see, where is the title on this thing? God, there's a, it's. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he was holding on to her neck last chapter, and it's only gotten more violent. Uh, where is the title? There is no title on this first page. Estraza gone berserk. From absorbing the commandments, Elizabeth is in danger. This week's double chapter comes with a color opening. Okay. Okay, bunch of gagging noises. Il za zababe. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, not here. I can't die yet. Not until I see you once more. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay, another big color page. Uh, talking about... I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is a gongo boncho? Aw, little... Uh, Keychains, and it's of our two little favorite couples. I'm surprised there's not a Meliodas and Elizabeth one then. Bonds are unbreakable, although their paths may differ. Ah. Okay, more merch. Okay. Diane in a tennis outfit. Okay. Japan can be weird. I mean, furthest thing from my mind. Uh. Okay, still choking. But she's trying to grab him. Wait, what did? Oh, she's using like the little mini arcs, and she just blast him in the face. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> okay, that got him off. So she's catching her breath, as I thought. This place. It's the remains of Heaven's Theater. This is giving me freaking Steven Universe vibes. The that one arena that's up in the sky. You know, it's like half destroyed. As it was such an old place, no one ever came near it. So we always met here in secret, but that was over three thousand years ago. And it was old back then. Good lord. <laughs> That's what we call ancient, Hunter. Uh, how I longed for you. I've remembered. I was always watching. Uh oh, so she's remembering more, which is bad. How much time does she have left at this point? I swear. I lose track of that so easily. But then again, you know, manga time don't go like normal. Okay, we're back with on the battlefield now. We'll keep fighting the demon clan like this and continue making our way south. So I must leave the rest to you. Defeat Esterasta and do whatever it takes to save Elizabeth and bring her back. Okay. So you've got King, Zarel, and Tarmel, and they're going they're the rescue squad. I I will. I promise. Aw, well, Diane King moment, but are you really going to be okay with just the three of you? You don't need to worry. It's going to be four of us. Wait, who's the fourth? Oh. Okay, a little surprised by this, but dairy, I guess. Let me come along to help as well. One of the Ten Commandments. Dairy. You want to help Lady Elizabeth? Enough with this joke. There's nothing in it for you. Well, Elizabeth saved her bacon. Now she wants to return, you know, the favor. So, what is she planning? I missed that. <laughs> exactly what kind of idiot brings a commandment along to kill their fellow commandment? Well, did you not just see that he tried to kill everybody on the battlefield, including a supposed comrade? So, this is not the normal situation. Uh, sorry, but 
There is not a single person here that trusts you. No, I trust her. Okay, well, King. On Diane's like, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Even Derry is shocked by this. Or to be more accurate, I trust Lady Elizabeth, who once risked her own life to protect you two. How do you know about that? Anyways, so... Wait. Is he talking about when Esteraza attacked, or is it when they went into their... What was it called? Turn a beast or something forms. Anyways, we're up against Esteraza, a monster completely beyond any normal scale. We're going to need as much help as we can get. I had heard that Seven Deadly Sins was a group full of weirdos, but I guess it's actually true, isn't it? Oh, sorry. You don't even know the half of it. You haven't. Well, I guess you haven't met Bond yet at this point, which. Good lord, when is the hell is he going to get back in the store? Okay. Flight troop out. Alrighty, back at the theater. I was always watching you, Elizabeth. Okay, so he's still conscious. That's not good. I've always remembered. I've also remembered a bit about you. You were always all alone. Oh, so he, so she did remember him in this current form. Okay, so my demon steroids idea might not actually be a thing. <laughs> yeah. With a sad, lonely expression, the Demon King's son, who did not possess the power of darkness, a weakling unable to kill even a single insect, I was always being laughed at behind my back. I still don't get why he had no power of darkness. That, 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 that's weird. And maybe that's why he does age the way he does? Or maybe he did do something to augment his body to kind of give him that edge to kind of pair up to his brothers. Eh, the only two people who didn't laugh at me were my older brother and you. Oh, so Zeldris is the dillweed of the family then. I'm not sure, but at some point you had caught my eye, and my gaze would follow you wherever you went. But the only thing your gaze ever fixed on was Meliodas. Oh, that jealousy. We got the green-eyed demon now. Ah, uh, Esteraza, please. I want to help you, or I want you to help me stop Meliodas from becoming Demon King. <laughs> Even at a time like this, you're still worried about my brother? I'm sure my brother would be able to harness the power of the commandments of his own without any difficulty. Meliodas really is strong, hasty, and reliable. Anyone wouldn't think twice before trusting him. So full of confidence. Okay, we're... So he, he's not going to help, I guess? And more importantly, he always protected me, never abandoned me. Whatever troubles or worries you have, you can tell me anything, he said. Okay, that one flashback definitely did show that kind of care. That's right. Uh, he gone freaky again. That's why I confided in him about my feelings for you. And that's when he said this. Oh, here's the flashback that breaks his heart, I guess. I'll try and work things out for you. Between you and Elizabeth. What? 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 <laughs> Meliodas would never say anything like that. I'm sure your memory is mistaken. Yeah, that is a little odd. He did. He lied. Esteraza, he lied to me. Okay. Okay, new form. He is now just a black mass. Even after all, he said. The three commandments you absorbed are being rejected. Like they hadn't before? Help, Elizabeth. Estraza, you've got to vomit out those commandments right now. Cough them up. Really? You literally coughed them up? Br brother. 
focus, maintain your consciousness. Otherwise, you'll be swallowed by the commandments. I, I think he already has. Oh, now he's got it all over his eyes, and he's got her in like a tendril thing, and I love that bath. Oh. Oh, okay, there's a face not even a mother would love. If you're going to be stolen away by Meliodas, guy, be eaten by me instead, then you'll become mine. Bah. <laughs> Meliodas. Okay, now he's just a giant black ball. Oh no, wait, that that's at Camelot Castle. Never mind. Inside the castle. How's Meliodas doing? As expected of him. Rather impressive. Okay, so we got uh, Cusack and Zeldris, and Cusack is still in his, I guess, true form. Taking time, but he's absorbing the command. Okay, so that's what's going on. He's absorbing the commandments, and his power is expanding very much in a similar fashion, I guess, but more perfect than what uh, Esteraza is doing. But he's absorbing the commandments w without any kind of rejection or adverse reactions at all. We need to hurry and gather the remaining commandments to give him. Okay, just a big freaking cocoon. Demon King Kicker. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, this one might run a little long because apparently it's a double chapter. As it, I, you know, they say double chapter, but then you don't always, I don't always believe it. Okay, so Meliodas is in the darkness. I miss you. During the crisis, he thinks of only one person from the heavens to you. My beloved. This week is a double chapter. The second chapter continues on the next page. Eh, is what Esteraza told of Meliodas truth or just thoughtless remarks? Uh, without even a chance to consider it, the time of their parting draws near by, or nearer by the moment. To be continued in chapter 268 from Purgatory. God damn it, Bond, finally. Or I assume, Bond. Okay. Uh, a, lone a lone wolf seeks a companion. Is that supposed to be Bond? Has he become the wolf? Uh, for the sake of recovering Meliodas. As the... Some of this font is hard to read. Uh, as the holy war rages on behind it, a lone man wanders aimlessly through a roadless hell. Well, it is basically hell. Chapter 268 from Purgatory. Okay, we're in Purgatory now. And it looks like a giant... Oh, I think I see a centipede. Oh, so is that Bon or... An actual demon okay fighting some creature just destroyed it okay is he absorbing them because it looks like it's like kind of but maybe not uh, panting okay seeing a tree growing out of is that lava or acid and live for ten drink one mouthful Years longer, drink it all, eternal life. Oh, maybe this is Meliodas, or not Meliod? God damn it, uh, Bon. I don't know. Yeah, been saying Meliodas a little too much, I guess. So he's he must be because he's remembering the Fountain of Youth. I won't bother saying my goodbyes to you lot, since you're ver since you're the very type I'm pre protecting the fountain for uh, from in the first place. Okay, now he's remembering Eileen. So this is definitely Bon. Oh, he's changing back to a more human form. Is that so? Oh, there's nothing important on the side. Uh, okay, he he aged. You know, well, beard and mustache. He kind of looks like an old man who stayed <laughs> the most fit in the world. What? What? G gasp. What have I been doing? You've been living the life of a demon, apparently. 
Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah, what was that? Was no joke. A little bit longer, and I would have become a full fledged resident of this side. Just how many decades, no centuries, have passed since I became or came to Purgatory? Oh, I feel a sneeze. Cap, where are you? Answer me. Wait, does he actually think Meliodas is in Purgatory? <laughs> Has he actually forgotten why he's there? Or wait, was that... I don't even remember why he went into Purgatory in the first place. Was... Uh, I'll have to reread some stuff. Or if anyone can clarify that in the comments. I swear, it's been so damn long I forgot. I thought it was just to recover his weapon. But maybe it was to save Meliodas, but Meliodas ain't in Purgatory no more. Pant, Captain, you better watch out, cause it'll freeze you solid, burn you to a crisp, spoil you like Caprion? Ah, the suffering of Purgatory will gnaw away at your soul, will gnaw a hole through your heart, will tear you apart. And once you've fallen in despair, in the very end you'll know you'll turn into a monster doomed to wander purgatory listen up bond don't you dare complain don't you dare tap out no wonder what it takes you're going to find captain's emotions and get back to where you're all waiting so is he the one who's singing so he's self-motivating with song I, I know I'm looking for the caps emotions but what exactly are we are they? Did they look like a soul or something? Huh. Sh should I know, moron? Or how should I know, moron? Yeah. I guess. Hurry up. Let's get our asses out of this uh, shit forsaken hell hole already. Okay, he's just wobbling on. Oh, he, did he fall off a cliff? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> eh. What's going on? I'm confused. Okay, another demon or is that bond i can't tell no oh, that might be bond he's just busted up yeah he's splattered but he's fine that fucking hurt <laughs> yeah. cap where the hell are you answer me already damn it oh something's coming down what the is that a bull what the hell is that thing it looks kind of like what Bond did. It's what, and it's turning him into a demon. Give it up. Like hell I will. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, so he's, whatever it is, he's picking it up. I ain't being taken over by you. Is it a rhino or a bull? I don't know. Okay, he's knocked it back a bit. He's going in for more hits. Perfect timing. I was bored out of my mind. Yep, how long has he been in here? He probably has gone insane. Well, more so. If you want a piece of me that badly, then let's dance. Bring it on, monster. Okay, so he's lost the beard and everything, so he just... I guess when he really does get tired and sees a strong enough opponent, he just kind of goes that way. Because, like, he did that when we first met him. He had a beard and everything because he was in prison for ten years. But then as soon as Meliodas showed up and everything, it was like, oh, let's dance. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So, this is, I, I don't like that he's naked. I wish he had kept the hair. But I doubt we'll see his his bits. Oh, he he did he just get eaten? What? <laughs> pant, pant. Damn, you were one hell of a tough, persistent bastard. We must have been fighting for decades. I'm in the middle of searching for my friend right now. Wait. What? You. His hair's already grown. Damn, time has passed. But man, I'm really sleepy. Huh? Oh, something's enveloping. 
it's sleeping with him. Good lord. What the heck? This thing's actually grown attached to me. Could this be a power-up? He gets a demon pet? Come on, Captain. Let's go home together already. Back to the other side. Everyone's holding out. Doing their best all for you. Besides, Arlene, there's a woman precious to me that I'm dying to see again. Yeah, uh, I think he fell asleep. Yeah, me too. Wait, what? Who said that? What was that just now? Looking around? Speaking of which, where's that bastard dragon gone to? Yeah, it did rear up like it heard something. So, this is where you were. Elizabeth. What? Okay. Meliodas isn't right there, but I want to see you. So his emotions were actually separate from his rest of his body? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I guess we just Timmy Turnered this shit, huh? From Fairly Odd Parents. You know, where he wished away all of his emotions, but then they just put them in a box. Except this isn't a box. <laughs> but how how did he just find it like that? That's weird. Although you're in different worlds, their feelings are the same. From purgatory to you, my precious. The dragon's true identity was what he... Oh, it was the thing he was fighting. Okay. That's why they fought all the time. It's because him and Meliodas did the same damn thing. <laughs> was what he was searching for, Meliodas' emotions, and this desperate situation without any options. At last, one single ray of light shines down. To be continued in chapter 269, Purgatory Life. Okay, well. Boy, that only took me 21 minutes. Good lord, I was fast. But maybe there wasn't as much to analyze, but... Okay, Bond's finally back in the story. I bet some patch is gonna be happy because I know she's much like myself. It's like he—he's not even hardly ever mentioned half the time. But he hasn't found his weapon yet, which I—I I think everyone assumes is going to be in purgatory. Which probably, I guess, at this point, if he spent God knows how much time in there. But, huh? So he became a wolf himself and then found a bull that apparently he fought for however long, which playful fighting like he did with Meliodas. So, hmm, interesting. <laughs> which then just shows that their bond, even in demon form, did not decay at all, which is nice, considering purgatory is all about decay and rot and whatnot, so that, that's nice. Uh, but yeah... Overall, I'll, I'll, I'll give them a combined score of a 4.5. Because I, I just don't... I don't know. You know, you read it all together, it just gets stuck in your head together. So, you know, just like this once. But uh, anyway, overall, pretty good. I enjoyed it. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Keishan Prime. And I'll see you next time. Keishlings, roll out.